Good morning. It feels strange to be here in chapel all on my own, but if you're watching this video, then you've managed to follow the link and we're all connected together wherever in the world we happen to be. We've got to get used to a new reality, a new way of working, a whole new way of being a community. Just as we'll be taking part in our lessons from a distance, so we can begin our days with a few moments of quiet thought, reflection and prayer. Miss Greatwood, Mr Shaw and I will record and post short messages on our usual chapel days at our usual chapel times until the end of term. A challenge like the one we're facing now gives us the chance to show ourselves at our best. In particular, those of us who try to follow the teaching and example of Christ, we have the opportunity to really live up to our calling. What does it mean to be called to walk in the way of Christ? Well, it means a life of service in which we make real efforts to think of other people first. We go out of our way to help one another. Everyone is going to be needing that attitude in the coming weeks. It's a life filled with thankfulness for all that we have, homes to live in, food to eat, and families to love us. The sudden removal of some liberties and some conveniences should turn us all the more to gratitude for what we have and, not taking those things for granted, turn us outward in concern for those who are in far greater need. It means a life of love and if, when we can't see our loved ones and in many cases can't hold them in our arms, then we search the greater depths of what love means. We find new ways of expressing love and experiencing it. And so relationships are enlarged and not diminished. And the way of Christ is a spiritual way. There is material hardship ahead for many people in this world and for many of our families. A truly Christ-like attitude turns from thankfulness into service, with practical help, with emotional support, but remembers too that getting attached to material things not only prevents growth of the spirit, but is ultimately futile anyway, because everything that is material returns to the dust from which it came. It is the spirit that lives on, and what will survive of us is love. For the wider world, there will be loss and sorrow, and perhaps for our own community too. The eye of faith looks beyond. It's time for Christians to rise up and show what our faith looks like in practice, and for all who respect the teachings of Christ to walk with us in his way, his way of service, thankfulness, and love. Here's a short Bible reading, then a prayer, then off you go and get ready for a great day. I'll see you again on Friday morning. Be anxious for nothing, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Make known your needs to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant to the sick comfort and strength, to the fearful reassurance, to health workers stamina and care, to governments wisdom, to our school community, devotion and unity, and to all people 
a true spirit of love, in your name and for your glory. Amen.